Hello, race fans. Welcome back to the NASCAR Kellogg's Truck Series. It's Easter weekend, so I hope you're going to enjoy yourselves and have a good one and stuff. As for me, I'm in the booth here on the Saturday night. Some good old short track action for us here tonight. That's right. We're at the Hickory Motor Speedway. Sure to be a great race today. Today's race, the Corona Beer 250. <laughs> Let's be honest, were you expecting anything else? I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a thing. As we go through our starting lineup, AJ Jones. The defending champion on the front row, along with Billy F Preston, your pole sitter. Then Dwayne Johnson in the Lucas Oil 33, next to his teammate, the Island Snake in the Jegs 2. <laughs> Hilda will line up next to Miranda Cosgrove, who brings out the Dry Dean colors this week, as All Might will line up next to Lemmy Koopa, your points leader. Then Martin Freeman. And Buddy Lazier, I don't know why he has a 21 means 21 uh, decal. It's been over 21 years since he won the Indy 500. Jacob Rose is going to line up next to Steve Corral. Then Andre the Giant and Billy Joel. Daniel Brule will line up next to Peter Onjak. Then Gilbert Gottfried and Dan Mandel. Tyler Ankrum. And Ed, Tom Clancy. I almost said Eddie Money. That's who drove this car last year. That's going to round out your top 20. Meatloaf and the Jacob Company's 03. We'll line up next to Lionel Richie. In the Great Lakes Wood Floors number 88 Ford F-150. I almost said Fusion. Then his teammate Gatlin Downey. One of his, his other teammates, I should say. Lines up next to Wayne Brady. Shady's lines up next to Tommy Chong. James Young and Weird Al will be next to each other. Then Nicholas Cage. Get him out of this cage. Taylor Goldsmith. Then Maurice White will line up next to Frank Sinatra. Alex Bignacco towards the back along with Peter Gabriel. And starting at the very rear of the field, Larry Hagan and the State Water Heaters number 8. And last week's winner, Lynn Manuel Miranda. You can see a very tight pit road, as you can see from our helicopter cam. Just squeezing in enough spots for everybody. Maybe, maybe they could have squeezed in another like right here. get 37 but no we only got 36 Duh, good job squeezing in thingy my bobbers pit stalls. Just enough to accommodate everything on the grid. As you can see, there's not much else. All the teams, their garages, they, all their parts are here, so if there's anybody who's got an advantage, it's going to be these teams. Teams on the outside, well, they might be kind of screwed. Anyway, it's the Corona Beer 250, and as always, here's the most famous words in all of motorsports. So enthusiastic. I can just feel the excitement of all the fans after that announcement, totally. As we get going, we're getting ready for 75 laps around a .363 mile bull ring. It's 
We're under the lights for some exciting short track action. We're green flag here at Hickory. Billy Preston is going to easily scoot into the lead. I expect the inside line to be dominant here at the beginning. Solid Snake trying to take second. But AJ Jones trying to hold strong. You know, if there's anybody who can start in, on the outside line and make it work, it's probably AJ Jones. But no, it looks like if anyone's making it work so far, it's Dwayne Johnson. We switch to the spectator cam. It gives you a better idea of the action as Billy Preston exits turn four. Vignacco's only now entering turn three. Preston was exiting turn two as Vignacco hit the start finish line. Vignacco has dropped to last, if you can't tell. It's Billy Preston, Solid Snake, Hilda, Dwayne Johnson, and now AJ Jones in fifth. AJ Jones go looking to get some spots back. He's going for fourth. All Might and Buddy Lazier going at it. In sixth. Miranda Cosgrove, Daniel Brule, and now it's about to be Lemmy Koopa rounding out your top ten. Oh Peter Onjack is three wide. He's stuck in the middle with me. Here he is, stuck in the mi middle with me. Anyway, it looks like the fastest car or truck up here is actually the two. No, the 18. Hilda going for that first career win. On Jack did not get a. Good luck. He actually tied with Daniel Brule in qualifying somehow. You can see Brule's got the better end of the deal so far. He's into the top 10. Well, Jack is out of the top 20. We checked the fastest lap. It is actually now. It's the two truck again. As we're already almost 10 laps into this race. And we just fired the engine. The cars just got rolling three minutes ago. Downy towards the Dan's and the ball. Oh! Was that what I thought it was? No. I thought I saw Billy Preston uh, tag the backstretch wall. Let's go on, on board your pole sitter for not your outside front row starter, your defending champion for a minute as we... Oh! Caution is out! Guess we won't! Oh! Taylor Goldsmith and Andre the Giant are slow due to the incredibly small pace laps. We're gonna do that. We're gonna see what brought this out. Well, ooh, ooh. It looks like it developed a lot. Oh. I think he just got pinched. This is something that developed almost a whole lap back. Sinatra and Taylor Goldsmith going at it for the 20th position. Then it looks like, oh, he drove him down and just spun him. Oh. Oh, some other trucks get involved. Namely, the James Young got a dinge. Ooh, Meatloaf might have gotten a bit of it. Peter Gabriel as well. Oh, my God. Those guys in the high line just barely avoid getting any worse off. Ooh, there's a huge stack up. Oh! Uh, 
as you can see, James Young and Frank Sinatra, as well as... No, second place Solid Snake's gonna make the turn down the pit road. He might have gotten caught up. Oh, he did get a little bit of rear end damage, it looks like. Well, they're changing tires on the two truck. Is he going to lose a lap? We see the 30, the 77, the 0, and the 5 being scored a lap in arrears at the moment. Oh, the 0. Trying to blend in the line, and will do. Where is the 2? We actually, despite pitting, is in 22nd. Did come out ahead of Alex Bignacco despite pinning under caution. Very interesting. Not sure why he isn't at the end of the lead lap, but okay. You would think he'd be behind Dan. Or even Peter Onjak, who really got a raw deal with starting lineup draw. Anyway, as you can see, 30, the 77, the 0, coming to the inside. I have no clue where the 5 is. I can't have Frank Sinatra's in the 5. There he is. 32 cars in the lead lap. We've completed 18 laps thus far. We go back green. 57 to go here at Hickory. Now with the, these guys on the inside, depending on if they're slow or not, they should be able to get their laps back. It looks like Andre the Giant's a little bit sluggish coming off the corners. You can see it. Arthur's going to be the first car to move. Hilda might be in the catbird seat, but I don't know. Unless Taylor Goldsmith can't get to the end. Taylor, he's going there. Oh, and AJ Jones is here. Oh, but he washes up the track. Now allow James Young to, to get in a position. Oh, there's three wide. Watch out. Oh, look at this Larry Hagan moving some moves. Make moving some moves, yes. Oh, car down pit road. That is the 08 truck, I believe, of Martin Freeman. Yes. It's made a four tire stop. We jump back up to the front. The 16 leads. The 18 trying to get around this, the lap car of the 77. Lap truck, I should say. Not having an easy time. Lemmy Koopa the third. A great run for our pole sitter. Now Daniel Brule is looking to break in the fourth. Tyler Ankrum's at the back of the pack now because we can't have nice things. On Jack, though, is making his way through the path. I thought I saw something. Larry Hagan started in 36th place, has worked his way up in the 16th. That's a net, that's a gain of a few spots. 20 spots in 26 laps, 21 spots to be exact. Now let me Koopa driving to the back of the 18 truck. Look at 
go on board on with our pole sitter, not our pole sitter, our points leader as we take a lap or two around Hickory. Got a slightly curved back stretch. So he gets down to 60 to 65 in the corner. Speeds gets around 93 before letting off this corner a little bit faster. Only gets down to around 68. I'm breaking like right before the start finish line. It's a weird track that way. 93 in the corner. It's not looking like. Oh! I thought he got turned from. He might have gotten hit from behind. No. Carried through most of that corner at like 76, though. Yeah, kind of carried. That's a very unconventional line. As you can see, he's gotten to the inside of the 18. There he goes for position. Almost clear. He's clear. Let me Kuba the P2. Let me out of this cage. Whoa, no. Let me out of this cage. see now the field itself is starting to equalize it's probably not even close to the right world but you know what I mean Billy Preston enjoying a healthy advantage at the moment second and a half and the next truck in line is the lapped truck of Taylor Goldsmith and it's Levy Koopa in second another lap truck of James got Rule for Buddy Lazier fifth and Lionel Richie, AJ Jones, Frank Sinatra, not Frank, All Might, Weird Al, and Tommy Chong, your top 10. Larry Hagan up to 13. Way to go. Snake up to, back up to 16th after hitting under caution. Dropped in the 22nd. You'd have thought it would drop them further, but I guess not. Ankrum up to 24th again. On Jack, hopefully he's going to stop his slide finally. He's back to 26. This is exactly the kind of race he does not need. Downey trying to get around Peter Gabriel with help from fellow four. Nicholas Cage as we're over halfway through this race. Now up front, a battle, a big gaggle of cars, four trucks, I should say. Well, five, but one of them's a lap truck. As Daniel Brule will take second from Lemmy Koopa. Right behind him, Buddy Lazier going for fourth, possibly even third. Oh, no. Andre the Giant. Is just up the road. He's been pulling away. He'll brew third. A second. Buddy Lazier third. Hey, Koopa listed at fourth in the moment, but here comes Lionel Richie in the number 88. doing absolutely nothing. On Jack has gotten around Tom Clancy for 25th and just as I say that On Jack just blows the corner allowing Tom Clancy to close right in and potentially pass him. Good job. 
Battle for 22nd at the moment. Ankrum underneath Biniaco. Or is last week's winner, Lin Manuel Miranda. We started on the back row. But not quite. Ooh, look at look at those cars up there. Not quite as impressive as Larry Hagen, who started dead last and is trying to break in the 12th position. You'd be passing two thirds of the field to do so. No, Snake outwits him. Snake going for thirteenth and has his eye sight set on his teammate Dwayne Johnson. This could work in Hagen's favor if he can cross over to right behind Snake. No, it doesn't matter. Snake couldn't get around the thirty-three like I thought. Oh, look, continuing to slide back. <sighs> what are we talking about? Okay. Buddy Lazier up the third all of a sudden. Two lap truck buffer between Brule and Preston. Young just ran it wide for some reason. There's a Toyota and a Chevy. Gallon Downey, now the next driver. The most driver in Billy Preston's sights to try and put a lap down. I don't know if they're going to have to pit. I thought they might have to pit, but I guess not. Maybe if you let me out of this cage, we can find out. Is that somebody pitting? No. What I do know is at the line th this time by when Billy Preston crosses the start finish line which he's about to do there is all and he's done it there are only 20 laps to go for Billy Preston Daniel Brule in second being harassed by lap traffic Buddy Lazier in third Lemmy Koopa for Frank Sinatra also lap traffic by uh, Richie is fifth. Oh, Hilda's sliding. But here comes Hagen back in the 13th. Solid Snake goes underneath his teammate. Hagen, could he get a run? Could he get to the inside of the 33? We'll see. Oh, he's getting there. Hagen with a look for 12th place. A spirited drive from the back of the grid for Larry Hagen. Oh. But the rock holds on. Oh, and he runs it wide. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Lap traffic. Oh! Gatlin Downey is still not quite lapped by Billy Preston, who only has 15 to go. But Peter Gabriel now is. Brule. Oh! Martin Freeman trying to get around Peter Gabriel. Look at this lap tr truck. Just not. It's just a not. Peter Onjak up in the 24th now. Oh my goodness, what a run gone bad. Solid Snake trying to break into the top ten again. Oh, look at look at that knot of tr How are you supposed to get by them? Twelve, twelve laps to go for Billy Preston. To pick up what I believe is his second career win. He won at Milwaukee last year. When the leaders pitted in the final laps, within five to go, it's when Frank Sinatra gave up the lead. We haven't seen much of anything in the line of pit stops. Will they happen right here at the end of the race? Who knows? Ten laps to go.
Daniel Brule has got to fight his way through a horde of lap traffic. He's trying to move his teammate out of the way. Oh! And Martin Freeman's gotten his lap back. One of them. Oh, James Young to the inside of Billy Preston. We saw something similar in the Melling race last week at South Boston. Eight to go. Only Peter Gabriel stands between Daniel Brule and race leader Billy Preston. Buddy Lazier in the third. Lionel Richie in the fourth. AJ Jones has cracked the top five again. Six laps to go here at Hickory. Just over two miles. Oh, Peter Gabriel runs it wide. It's not quite... See, now Preston, a half groove up the track, coming to five laps to go. Oh, Daniel Brule could be looking on. No, he keeps it planted. He's getting to the back bumper of the four. He's going to make this pass as soon as possible. Oh, he's looking, but Gabriel keeps slamming the door shut for no reason. Four laps to go for Billy Preston. Gosh, that's got to be annoying to be so close and yet so far away to your first win. You have the truck to track down the leader, potentially. You, But you've got a lap truck holding you up as there are two laps to go in the Corona Beer 250. The only thing that could... Save it. Oh, lordy situation. Oh, and Daniel, there's the final nail in the coffin. Is Frank Sinatra is going to interfere with this battle? Sinatra pointlessly passing a driver that's two laps ahead of him. Billy Preston, round three. Round four will take the checkered flag and win a hickory. Oh, this reminds me more of Martinsville. Two weeks ago. Yeah, it was two weeks ago. No, not last week was Bristol. Not Sobo. I'm an idiot. There, your official Razan Zan your official your official standings, although Nicholas Cage and Andre the Giant should be listed as on the lead lap, in all fairness. Ah, Jack 20, Hagen. Snake damaged his control, damage controlled his way to 8th position. Yeah, yeah, K20 R03. That was a really short race, everybody. Makes sense. It was Easter. All Might, the only rookie to finish in the top ten. That's all right by him. It was, my goodness. It looks like the rest of the rookies were in mini packs. Hagen, Bo Joel, Dan, Ankrum, Binyako, Eves, Gabriel, and Downey. Martin Freeman loses 24 spots. Hagen gains 23, so. We go. To the thingy. Thingies now to determine our point standings. Yes, indeed, we are recording. Lemmy Koopa remains your points leader. Actually extends that gap. It's been growing every race. That's crazy. Three top tens, two top fives. 
<sighs> wow. Wow. Solid snake. Is... Billy Preston led every single lap in dominating fashion. But you could pass. That was for sure. Larry Hagan is up to sixth in points after a commanding drive. He was 27th at Homestead, and he's up to sixth already. So good job. That's a 20. One point jump in points. Billy Preston was 37th. Was literally the worst guy of the two of the full time drivers at this point in the year. On Jack falls in points again. Another rough race. Not at all what he needs. He had just been running 10th place all freaking all season so far he'd be he'd be 5th in points so but he's got some work to do his teammate is leading at the standings he is beating his rookie teammate by a large amount Natalie Decker last in points. <laughs> James Young last in points of the full-time drivers. That's a surprise. Ankrum having a very rough season. You hate to see it. Andre the Giant, Peter Gabriel, Taylor Golds, Frank Sinatra, Buddy Lazier jumped up 16 spots. Wow. Dega's next week. That's going to be a good race. It always is because it is Talladega. I've been announcer Western Caves. This has been the NASCAR Verners Cup Series. And we'll see you next time out in the high banks of the Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama. See you then. Until then, enjoy yourselves and happy Easter. Billy Preston, your winner of the Corona Beer 250.